Welcome to Tech Brothers Damet. Today we are going to learn how to attach multiple files dynamically in SendMail task in SSIS package. So what we will learn here, we will learn how to create SSIS package parameters. We will learn how to use the for each loop container to loop through the files in a folder. We will learn how to use the variables in a script task in SSIS package. So we need to use that and build the attachment list. So we are attaching some files, right? So we will be building that list in this script task. And then finally, we will be using the send mail task in SSIS package to send multiple attachments. So now let me take you to the SSDT and show you a few things. Before we start creating our package, let me show you uh, files here. So I have different type of file. I have BMP file, I have text file, I have Excel file. I did create them by purpose because I wanted to show you, you can send any type of file by using send mail task. Next part, uh, what we want to do here, we want to come here in SSDT SQL Server Data Tool or Bids and create a new SSIS package. So right click here, create new SSIS package and then rename this one. So I'm going to call this one attachment files. And if you see that our files are sitting in the folder and if you want to send the email uh, by using a send mail task and uh, attach those files. Uh, this is how we need to build something. Uh, we have to provide uh, the first file path. Uh, then uh, we have to add uh, a pipe sign uh, and then have to provide uh, the second uh, file path. Uh, so each should be separated uh, by the pipe sign. So that's how we will keep adding them. Uh, and uh, once you provide this value to the send mail task, uh, these files will be sent as uh, attachment. So this is pretty easy, right? But we don't have uh, uh, everything in one line uh, saying, okay, my, this is my first file, this is pipe sign and second file. We have the files uh, sitting in the folder and their names are right here, right? So we need to get them. Now I'm gonna go to the SSDT and as we have created the package already, I'm going to bring, uh, uh, let me create the parameter first uh, because I love parameters and variables so we can use them uh, in the configuration so input folder you can call it input folder output folder source folder whatever you like it and uh, now we are going to go ahead and get the path so now we have the path here paste it here all good next uh, we are going to go to control flow task and uh, sorry control flow pan and bring a for each loop container right here let me make it a little big and right in front of you so you can see it double click and go to collection here for each item enumerator is selected by default but most of the time you have a file enumerator already selected but that's fine we can select for each file enumerator because we are reading the files from the folder i don't want to read from the c colon backslash i want to read from the folder so I, I hit the expression and go to directory and that folder path is saved in my package parameter so that's where it is all good hit ok now I want to read the fully qualified path that means the folder path plus file name plus extension and I want to read any type of file so asterisk dot asterisk means any type of file with any extension so that's what it is good now we can go ahead and say variable mapping and we will save that fully qualified path in a variable new variable file full path looks good now we are going to create an other variable as uh, this uh, file full path variable is going to change with each of the iteration we want to create a new one and so we can save the value of a file full path in that variable so let me create one and I'm going to call this one attachment file attachment not attachment like you're attached with somebody but anyways this is going to be file attachment right so now we we will be bringing a, a script task here let's bring the script task here 
inside the script as what we see read only variables and read write variables so here we know that we are going to read the value from the file full path variable and then we are going to save the value in the attachment and finally read at the end so we will be reading out from the script task so attachment here edit script this is very funny I was making a video I totally forgot how to use the variable like you use single parentheses small parentheses with the or uh, square parentheses anyways so this is how we are going to use DTS dot variables and then we use square parentheses and use double quotes write user and then here we are going to say attachment we want to set the value of attachment parentheses square parentheses close dot value is equal to equal to what is equal to the file full path we that's what we want to read right so I'm gonna copy this one paste it here and then file full path right and also if you know remember that we have to let's see two string and then uh, we have to add the pipe sign at the end right so think about it first time we have uh, this uh, use uh, sorry atta uh, attachment uh, variable and we set the value of this one uh, to some uh, to the, this value right so let's say we read uh, first file next time when it come it will overwrite the value we don't want to overwrite it. we want to concatenate it so I'm going to use it this variable again so I'm gonna copy this one and put it here so first time it doesn't contain any value next time it will have the value saved in this attachment it is going to add the new file name to it and uh, then uh, it will be adding this uh, uh, pipe sign as well uh, as part of that so let's go and uh, do some experiments and maybe we can learn uh, and see the things here so I'm gonna actually use the message box just to pop up that message box that show and here I will be using this variable to string so by using this one we can see that how the values are going to be concatenated fine we are all good save it okay so let's run this one now we see the very first time this has the logo.bmp and put the uh, pipe sign after that then next time it bring the next file that is uh, our customer text file and put the uh, pipe sign at the end next uh, we have three of them so that's how it will be keep concatenating so we are all good we wanted to have a complete list of the files separated by a pipe sign so we have that now we can use in the send mail task so now let me close this one I wanna go ahead and create a couple more parameters why because email list can change right you want to send to email to one person today and but maybe tomorrow you will say no I want to send to two person right so we can say email from and then email from will be let me put Amir Seco age at gmail.com and uh, email to I want to make a list so you can go ahead and here you will say tech brothers sql edge at gmail.com and then you have semicolon in the last video literally i totally forgot i was saying terminator in the like <laughs> not a movie but uh, you terminate your code a line of code with each uh, with this symbol right so i was just it was totally i was saying terminator but it is semicolon so i got it after that so now you have amir.nmhu at yahoo.com you you can have as many as you want but these values can change from the configuration that's what i was talking about in production you will be using maybe 
production support at uh, abc.com and uh, in UAT maybe saying production support UAT at abc.com that's where it should come and then uh, the users can also change in QA because they will be your uh, testers right and in prod you will have real users maybe you have pr prod uh, production support team you will have DBS team so that will be changing so use the parameters as much as you can use it or variables if you are using package deployment uh, model and uh, then use the configuration to change their values so you don't have to change uh, the value in the package you will be simply changing by using the configuration in each of the environment so let's go in the control flow and finally we are all set values concatenated next uh, what we are going to do here we are going to use send mail task all right we have mail so come here in the st uh, smtp connection we will be creating a new connection and here we have to provide the smtp server i have a tbs client that's what uh, our smtp server name so there is a video we have created how to create your own smtp server and you can use it by using windows feature and it's really easy so go ahead watch that video i will try to put in description and we will uh, use windows authentication hit ok next uh, go to expressions and then we'll use those parameters and variables here i want to use from we'll say from line and here I will be using the parameter so I have parameter remember I created the parameter email from so I can use that one and then uh, I can use uh, two line so uh, if I hit T it will take me two line I'm gonna go ahead and use the tool email to package parameter if uh, you are using a uh, project then project parameter this will be dollar sign project so doesn't matter you are using variable or a parameter so whatever at least use something instead of putting the static values that's really bad idea now we have from and to we we can write the subject as hard code value we can use variables let me use a variable let's say subject line right so let me press s and here is my subject I'm gonna go ahead and build this subject so I will say package name so I'm gonna use system variable here and I will say let me see we have package name here so we you can say package and then uh, put the plus sign and uh, say package completed in and then you can have in, maybe you can have a variable for environment so by changing on each of environments you say package completed in UAT in prod or, or whatever wherever you are running that package but anyways I'm gonna say it hard code for now I say okay package completed in prod cool looks good fine and the last part we will be doing here we will be using a file attachment right so file attachments here and you remember we will be using the variable we have built that variable attachment in the script task so that has uh, all the file names and those are separated by the uh, pipe sign it okay one more thing is left that's the body and that's called message source here so you're gonna go ahead and find message source and here we will, let's build that so now we will be building by ourselves. I'm going to say hit him. This is cool. SSIS package. Let's see if you get multiple files as attachment. And then you have hit enter and say thank you. And we say Tech Brothers team. I'm sure this uh, tech brother second brother is not gonna like it because he spent uh, one hour just uh, to help me out with setting up VPN so I can make all these videos for you guys because I don't have SMTP set up on my machine here so he did uh, uh, let me use his VPN so hit ok so we, we, we will be saying next time some appreciation to him and uh, we are all good the package is ready now we are going to run the package and see if it works and uh, 
I'm really hoping it should work okay so the first this is the message box we have put doesn't matter now all the file names are concatenated and send mail task ran successfully let's go and check that out we have to check in the email we don't see any email good so let's refresh here maybe there is the email literally I didn't send any this email uh, by myself this came from the package so let's hit the package and we see that it's in uh, okay so attachment file package completed in prod so that's the same uh, subject we wrote and then we said hi team this is cool SSIS package let's see whatever and then we said uh, thank you team and these are the three files I attach them now th this package can be f you can have further implement of this package you can once the files are done they are sent by the email you might have to go ahead and delete them so you can use another for li each loop here and just go loop through the files and delete them by using file system task but uh, today we learn how to use the expression how to use the parameters how to uh, build a dynamically list of those uh, files and send them one more thing I want to go ahead and say this time we see that we were able to send four fi three files so let's go ahead and create a couple more files here so one PPT as I was saying it is it should work dynamically so if we create new files they should be also send so let's see so we have five documents as of now I'm going to do one more thing I'm going to remove that message box otherwise it will keep disturbing us every time I always do multiple uh, uh, scenarios uh, and go I do uh, care or I, I really uh, want to prove like okay our package is working or not I, I don't get lazy on that part I could have just finished this video but uh, I, I wanna do it uh, one more time and see if uh, we are putting new files is taken or not uh, maybe it is thrown error so we should run uh, with different scenarios and check the output uh, of our SSIS package so we make sure we cover every scenario run the package this time it should have sent five files let's go to the email and uh, refresh the email long videos huh so we have a new email and this has five files cool so this is working great. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.